What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another player pack review. So a bit of confusion with this one, the Showtime Fortress pack, right, which included Silva, Militao and Van Dyke. This was available when the maintenance ended and when the live update for Thursday was done. They were available for like an hour and people were able to spin, people were able to get them, some people got them obviously. And then obviously there was emergency maintenance and then this message popped up and the players were not available to spin anymore. And they said that they were going to be adding them back Friday the 10th of March, which is tomorrow, right? So it just says that following the maintenance that was carried out for this Thursday, they discovered errors in the player skill description of the newly introduced Fortress players. As a result, we are temporarily suspended the effective player list and they'll be adding it back tomorrow and they're going to give compensation so as of right now thursday the 9th of march time of recording these players are not available to actually spin for so if you got them you can use them but if you didn't you'll have to wait until tomorrow to spin right but over on eFootballDB.com, uh they do have the players up and these are the proper levels and everything you can see if this player is going to be for you we are going to do a review on these Obviously, the Fortress player skill, lads, that is going to be something that we need to probably look at with these players because that's going to add an extra layer of, like, I think kind of, like, overpoweredness to these cards, right? Right, so looking at what Fortress is, lads, right, this is what it says, and this is where the error may have been. Maybe the rewarding was wrong, maybe there was translation error, maybe the skill was not meant to do this, or maybe it doesn't do this. Maybe this was like a team-wide skill. I don't know, man. But this is what the definition was in before the maintenance was there and before that they added this message up here. Um, before they said that they discovered the error, this was what the message was in this. So it said that increases the defensive abilities of the whole team after the second half mark as long as the team has a goal advantage. So that's what Fortress did. And Fortress was included in Van Dijk, Militao and Silva, right? So... Like, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what the new uh, word is. Maybe there was just a, a mistake in it. Uh, it could have been something as small as that, you know, it says that it increases the defensive abilities of the whole team after the second half mark, as long as the team has a goal advantage. So that reads to me that if you have a goal going up, if you're 2-1 up or 3-2 up or 1-0 up, going in at half time, that you will have a defensive boost to your team, which seems very overpowered. So, I mean, in a game that is very, very, very defensive-minded and easy to defend in, that's a slight worry to me, right? But anyway, we're going to go on and we're going to review Van Dyke because we do have the stats here. We have him maxed out um, to see exactly how we're going to go with it. So this is his base starting uh, base level. So he's got 84 defensive awareness, tackling 85, speed 70, 71 stamina, and then tight possession is 60. We're not going to worry too much about that. Physical contact, header, and jump all fairly decent. 90 play style proficiency. He only has standard form, this card. And remember as well as that these guys' forms are not locked. They're not locked, as far as I know, to the same way as the epics. These go up and down with the player's real-life form as well as the live update that is done every week, right? So all Van Dyke's cards will be on B this week. But if he has a bad week next week, he'll go down to D. This card could be on D, right? So that's something to keep in mind there. Now, player skills, heading, low lofted pass, interception, blocker, sliding tackle, everything you could possibly want. For me, I find that Van Dyke is an absolute beast, but he's just a little bit clumsy on the ball. I find since V2.4's update, he is a bit clumsy. But this guy, all we're going to do to train him up, lads, is genuinely pump 4 into that and 13 into defending. And that's going to get us 97 defensive awareness, 98 tackling, 88 aggression, and 90 defensive engagement, right? It also gives us 90 physical contact, 81 header, 82 jump. I don't think you need to worry too much about speed. Like, speed and stamina are fine for a centre-back at that. If he does get tired, you can always replace him. If you're looking for more of a, uh, you know, a guy that's going to finish every game, I think you could reduce that a little bit and you could pull up his stamina, maybe two or three. And if you really wanted to, you could actually put a little bit on his passing as well to be able to pass out from the back with the way that the gameplay is gone. And that would mean that you have a better, more well-rounded version. But to be honest with you, I just think with the way V2.4 is playing at the moment, I genuinely think the defense being upgraded is the, is the way to go, right? If you defend manually, if you're a very manual defender and you switch a lot and you don't really let the AI do much for you, then you will uh, you you don't need to you know put up this defensive awareness as much because you can manually defend. But I still think that you need the tackling and the defensive engagement because engagement controls when you're actually control and you go in and step out and make the tackle. So that is a version of Van Dyke. I'll obviously need to have a re a revisit of it. Um, 
we will be spinning for him but I genuinely think that that 95 overall version of him is probably the best I know you can get him to 97 or 96 but I genuinely think that 97 98 88 and 90 for his defensive stats with those player skills and with the fortress player skill as well like insane next up we've got Militao this guy is one of my favorite players that I never use. Anytime I come up against him, he gives me a horrid time. He's very, very mobile. You can see there, right? We've made a couple of changes to him here, but I even think that we'll probably kind of... Yeah, I think I'll change this even a little bit here in real time, right? And I'm going to show you why. Firstly, we don't really need speed with this guy because he's fast enough with the acceleration. So we want to keep the acceleration about the same or if not lower uh, once we don't have the stamina under 80 right and then on top of that our biggest thing here is that we're going to get the defense aggression up to 99 now this means man you're going to have one of the most like aggressive players that you can possibly have in the game 92 awareness 91 tackling 90 jump 80 physical contact 82 stamina speed and acceleration 76 and 77 81 header that is like that's just unbelievable man that's almost not fair now if we again if we don't you know, if we don't, uh, if we defend very manually, you could also make him a little bit of more of an all-rounder. That would kind of put him in a more all-rounder position. If you do play a lot of quick counter, you could actually pump that into passing and just quick quicken the ball up with him and make him move a little bit. He still has interception and blocker and fortress, of course, that you're going to see for the player skills. But yeah, a lot of ways to train him, but I think that way is the best. I genuinely think the defenders need to have high defending stats, man, and they just become super overpowered. And then last but not least, we have a Thiago Silva. Again, we're looking at him. He lacks height. He lacks speed. He lacks acceleration. He does have fairly okay stamina, but his balance... If you look at these players' balance, lads, right? Van Dijk's balance is really, really poor. And also, Thiago Silva's is really poor. So I would say that Thiago Silva, looking at him from the offset, is probably the weakest of them because of his pace. But then you look at his defensive stats when you train him up this way, and they're absolutely insane. Especially that he can actually pass the ball with one touch pass, way to pass, and low lofted pass. So you don't even need to train up them, right? You don't even need to train them up. If you train up and you want to play quick counter, I would do that, or you play possession. But for everything else, if you just want, want an all-rounder, look at these stats, man. You don't need really passing because he's got the one-touch pass, way to pass, and low loft to pass as his player skills. So that's going to supersede his stats, really. You're not going to be, you know, carving open defenses with Thiago Silva. Like, you're going to be just being able to do the basic passes with him. So I think 72 and 73 is enough. And then on top of that, right... Lower body strength, I'm not too concerned about that. We could go maybe like the 70 mark is fine, but we could go like there. We could go the aerial strength. I would probably try and get the dexterity up to 70, 70. And then you've got tackling 97, aggression 87, and defensive awareness 97. Now, as I've said before, if you are a very manual defender and you don't really want to let the AI, you know, play the game really for you defensively, you could take away a lot of that speed there. Just put it at 4, 4, 4. I would also probably take away that maybe two just to have the physical contact stuck at 80 and then I would probably pump in the rest there and then pump that back up if you really need it to. You're going to get a player that has 99 there, right? We don't even need to go to full hog with that because it's going to max out at 15 levels into that, right? So we could actually go 90 jump and we could go one more into dexterity there if we wanted to, um, if you wanted to have that speed and acceleration fairly tight. I mean, look at the defensive stats, man. You've got everything that you could possibly want there. Uh, defensive awareness and tackling at 99, engagement at 96, aggression at 89. The only thing you don't have with Silva is blocker. You don't have blocker as a player skill, but he's more of a kind of a, a kind of a bring the ball out. Um, he's he's kind of like a DMF really, a DMF destroyer that plays center back because of his height and stuff. But uh, yeah, that is it for me, lads. I'll be back quite soon. We will be spinning for these as well. And uh, I hope you guys are good. Hopefully that will all be cleared up with the Showtime Epics. Let me know if you spun or if you are going to spin. And uh, I will talk to you in a bit. Peace.